Hello and welcome to another session on sequence and series. We are going to discuss a new concept today and that is called arithmetic means. Now in statistics you would have uh, read about average of uh, two terms and average of many averages of many terms actually. Now uh, today also we are now uh, going to understand this uh, concept of arithmetic mean from the perspective of progression sequence and series. Okay, and uh, you will see later on then there is some bit of correlation bet between whatever we are discussing here and the means and the averages we find in statistics as well. So what is arithmetic mean? In a common parlance, you know arithmetic mean of any two given number A and B. Let's say if we have A and B, so AM, arithmetic mean of A and B is given by A plus B by 2. Okay, arithmetic mean. And why is that? If you see, because A, A plus B by 2 and B are always, always in AP. You can check. Right, let's find out the common difference. If at all they are in AP. So these are the first two terms and the last two terms, right? So CD, if you try to find out, will be A plus B by 2 minus A which will give you b minus a by 2, right? Let's try to find out the cd in these two terms. So that will be b minus a plus b by 2. So that will be again b minus a by 2. So if you see, the common difference is b minus a by 2. So hence a, a plus b by 2 and b will always be in ap and hence we will be calling a plus b by 2 as arithmetic mean. So middle, mid, mid, uh, you know, in, in this three terms AP, A plus B by 2 is the middle term. So that's the concept of arithmetic mean. So let's say if you have 3 and 7. So arithmetic mean will be how much? 3 plus 7 by 2. So AM is 3 plus 7 by 2, which is 5. Now 5 is in exactly in the middle, you know, location of 3 and 7. So 3 and 5 and 7 are in AP. Okay, this are always, these are always in AP. So 5 is equidistant from 3 and 7, right? So this is the concept of arithmetic mean. Now in sequence and series, we need not have only one term between A and B, which are in AP. Let us say there are between A and B, we have M terms. So A1, A2, A3 dot 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 let's say a m there are m terms so to, in total how many terms are there m a1 a2 a3 to m to a m plus a and b so m plus two terms are there totally once again a and b are two terms and in between i am fitting in m terms these m terms such that such that such that a a1 a2 a3 dot 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 a m minus 1 a m and b are in a p let's say if you could figure out these many terms m terms between a and b and along with a and b they are in a p then then a1 a2 a3 a m minus 1 and a m are called m arithmetic means between a and b okay so there are m arithmetic means between a and b you can insert as many arithmetic means as possible between a and b you have to just ensure that these terms are in ap then we'll say then we'll say a1 a2 a3 dot 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 till am are m m arithmetic means between a and b okay so if they are in ap cannot can we not say that b is equal to first term first term is a and then total number of term is m plus 2 minus 1 times common difference if all of them are in ap so m plus 2 is the total number of terms isn't it so our basic formula is last term term is equal to first term plus total number of terms minus one times common difference this is what we have studied in ap isn't it so hence if you see this becomes and in this case we had n 
so m plus 2 terms why because there are in if you look at them they are m terms here and along with a and b there are m plus 2 terms right so hence we have used m plus 2 here right so that means b minus a will be equal to m plus 1 d therefore the common difference in such kind of an ap will be b minus a by m plus 1 okay that means you can find out all the ams now so ams in this case m ams are there so first of them is a plus the common difference that is b minus a by m plus 1 correct this is the a1 then a2 will be a plus twice the common difference which is b minus a m plus 1 and now be very very mindful of this thing that if there is one here the coefficient is one it is two here it is two so you now know what is a3 a3 third am is a plus three times the common difference okay therefore you proceed in this manner you will get am will be simply a plus now again if three was here three has to be here so if it is m here it will be m times b minus a by m plus one right so you got all the ams between a and b let's take an example and understand let us say we have a is equal to 3 let's take an example okay a is equal to 3 and b is equal to let's say 9 and we have to insert 5 ams between a and b okay a and b okay so how to find out the first so hence m is equal to 5 5 ams we have to insert so m is equal to 5 so first am will be a1 you can check the formula here what is it first term that is 3 a plus 1 times b minus a so 9 minus 3 divided by 5 ams right so 5 plus 1 6 so this one is 3 plus so 9 minus 3 6 and denominator is 6 so 1 so 3 plus 1 that is 4 right what will be a2 the formula is a plus 2 times d so 9 minus 3 by 5 plus 1 right so this will be simply 5 then a3 is you can calculate it will be 6 a4 will be 7 and a5 will be 8 so 5 ams 5 arithmetic means between between 3 and 9 are 4 5 6 7 and 8 why because if you just you know add 3 here and 9 here all of them are in ap right so i hope you understood the concept of arithmetic means and hence we can insert as many arithmetic means as possible till m is a positive integer right so that's the concept of arithmetic means we'll solve a few problems on this to understand it better okay